So, let's remember one more time a review. Simple present, daily routine things. What do you do every day? What time do you wake up? I wake up at 6 o'clock, I wake up at 7 o'clock. It's a daily thing. I go to school every day. But when it comes to present continuous, what are you doing now? I'm sitting, I'm standing, I'm watching. What are you doing tonight? Um, going to a party. Uh, my friends are coming over. Um, or I'm seeing a friend. I'm visiting my grandparents. I'm going out with a friend. So on and so forth. Or nothing special. Why? You want to come over? Why don't you come over and join me? So, simple as that. We move on to, I first want to cover all the tenses and then get into the details. Now, not the details. Because speaking of details, let me just tell you this, that for present, uh, simple present, we usually have something we call adverbs of frequency, remember? Adverbs of frequency? What are adverbs of frequency? Adverbs of frequency. What are they? Uh, do we start with always is here? Always means 100%, yes? But 0% would be never. Okay, after never, I would say hardly. Very good. Seldom. Hardly. Seldom. Barely. These three are good. After them, it would be? Have you heard occasionally? After occasionally? Sometimes? After sometimes? Usually? Often and always. Yes? So, do you ever go... Do you ever go swimming? Do you ever go fishing? I hardly go fishing. She hardly ever. Also, we can say hardly or hardly ever. Hardly or hardly ever. She hardly ever goes fishing. Do you ever go fishing? I never go to. He never goes fishing. Never goes fishing. He never goes fishing. So, what time do you usually wake up every morning? I usually wake up at 6 o'clock. She usually wakes up at 6 o'clock. So Melinda usually wakes up at 6 o'clock. Ming, what time do you wake up in the morning? In the morning I wake up uh, at 7. Is that a usual thing? Yes. Okay, what do you eat for breakfast? I did not eat breakfast. I? I um, um, doesn't eat breakfast. I doesn't or I don't? I don't. Okay, I don't eat breakfast. Never? Sometimes I eat. Sometimes. Sometimes I eat um, breast. Mm. So he sometimes eats breakfast. Sometimes. Or, but if you say, okay, I usually don't eat breakfast. So it's not like never. Okay? So we have adverbs of frequency, but where do they come? Adverbs of frequency. Sometimes, usually. Where are they? Where do they happen? I can I say I go usually to school? I go usually to school by bus? No. So what should I say? I usually go to school. I usually go to school. So it's basically before the main verb. 
Yes? These happen before the main verb. Before the main verb. Let's remember this. They happen before the main verb. I usually wake up at 6 o'clock. I usually have toast and coffee for breakfast. I sometimes, I hardly ever go fishing. I seldom see John. Hey, please give this package to John. Give this box to John. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a, the right person for this. I hardly ever see him. Maybe once a month. So, give it to someone else. So, usually, sometimes. So, these are usually before the main verb. It's not that they can never happen anywhere else. For example, if you put never at the beginning of the sentence, instead of saying, I never drink coffee, if I put it at the beginning, I should say, never do I drink coffee. It changes the structure of the sentence to question form. We call it inversion. Not important now, but just keep that in mind. If you ever put some of them in a different position, they may change the structure of your sentence. Never do I drink coffee. Rarely do I. Hardly ever do I go, go fishing. So one thing to remember for the routine is adverbs of frequency. One thing to remember is do and does. Yes? Do and does. Of course, we use do for what? I, we, you, they. Or better say, I, you, we, they. And does for? He, she, and it. So what's the negative does? Doesn't. Doesn't or does, does not. And don't or do not. Right? One more thing to remember, I go to school, you go to school, he? He goes, goes to school. She? Goes. goes to school. I bark, you bark, the dog? <laughs> I don't bark, you don't bark, but the dog? Barks. <laughs> the dog barks, right? So, it barks. Oh my god, my neighbor has a bark. It barks from morning to night. It's driving us crazy. Actually, now if you say it's to a dog, people don't like it. You should know if it's a boy or a girl. So say he. It is, no. It's a he and his name is John. Or his name is uh, Jimbo. Or his name is Jumi. Or his name is whatever. And now they have human names. There was a time when we had pet names. Now many dogs have very nice, beautiful human names, right? So, I, we, you, they, do, don't. And then we have does, doesn't. So, and then if you want to ask a question, say, I go to school. How do, how do you ask the question? Do I go to school? Do you go to school? Do I go to school? How about he and she? Does he, does she? You put this behind. And so yes, she did she does. Short answers are yes I do, no I? I don't know. Don't. Yes he does, no he? She doesn't. doesn't. Yes he goes to school, no he doesn't. He doesn't go to school, correct? He, he doesn't go to school. He doesn't go to school. Does in the sentence? No S or ES. Now the question, the next question is when S, when ES. We'll take a look at this in grammar book. When what words? It depends on spelling. The question of spelling. What words take S? What words take ES? And why? We'll have a look at that. O, E, 